A trip to Marrakesh is a sensory overload of exotic sights, sounds, smells and tastes. If you're heading to this Moroccan hotspot, keep a few do's and don'ts in mind to help minimize the inevitable overwhelm. Here are 10 things not to do in Marrakesh. No before you go! 1. Don't get taken by a street guide. You will be comforted by an assortment of friendly, helpful locals eager to escort you somewhere. However, the majority are opportunistic hustlers. It's better to avoid engaging these street guides as they can be persistent and intimidating. 2. Don't get fleeced by a taxi driver. There are many drivers overcharging tourists with off-the-meter fees. You need to appear confident and savvy when you get in a taxi. You don't want to seem rude or imply that you assume they're distrustful, but if you're too soft, this taxi mafia will fleece you. 3. Don't pay the first price offered. Merchants expect a negotiation, so brush up on your bargaining skills and have fun with it. Don't be too penny-pinching about this game, though. Remember, a few extra dirhams probably mean much more to the merchant than you. 4. Don't wear babouche on a busy working day. One of the must-buy in the Marrakesh souks are the colourful traditional Moroccan slippers, called babouche. They take a few wears to stretch to your foot and become comfortable, so it's not a good idea to wear a brand new pair on a heavy day. 5. Don't feed the snake charmers. These hustlers aren't afraid to extort you for your experience. In fact, you never know when you'll find a snake wrapped around your unsuspecting neck, and they'll take advantage of your fear and demand payment to remove it, or encourage you to take a picture, and once you take it, the fee demanded can be unreasonable. So try not to engage these snake charmers, or be prepared for some aggressive sales tactics. 6. Don't stop without change. While there are ATMs in Marrakesh, and credit cards are used at the finer hotels and restaurants, this is mostly a cash culture. Keep change on you, as one of the typical sales ploys with souk merchants and taxi drivers is the sorry I don't have change trick. 7. Don't forget you're in a Muslim country. It is essential to conduct yourself with respect to the host culture. No one is asking you to wear a headscarf or partake in Islamic rituals, and Morocco is pretty moderate. However, it is wise to dress conservatively. Women especially should keep this in mind so as to not invite unwanted sexual harassment. 8. Don't leave the immigration paperwork to the last minute. Just be aware that you'll have to fill out immigration forms both on arrival and departure. The paperwork is nothing complicated, but immigration queues can be quite long at this relatively small airport, so complete your paperwork in advance. 9. Don't forget to learn a little French or Arabic. Take the time to learn some key phrases in French or Arabic before arriving. Pleasantries go a long way in putting people at ease. Most will be impressed with any attempt you make in their language, so Google some basics before you go. 10. Don't let your guard down. Wandering around the streets, squares and dizzying lanes takes some guts and you'll want to have your wits about you at all times. The hustle and bustle of street life can be wow. overwhelming to the uninitiated. It's important to schedule in some downtime each day to chill out, such as treating yourself to a hammam cleanse. Where would you like to know what not to do in next? Comment below.